Taylor Zins Mortgage Minute. Da 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 da. I'm sorry, I really still love that music just a year or two later. Anyway, housing bubbles and how they up and see what the heck is happening when a housing bubble pops. What causes a housing bubble? Well, not what we currently have going on, let me tell you, because what we have going on right now is a supply and demand problem. There are not enough houses and too many buyers. It is what it is. What's going to happen with that is it's going to keep going up like this, and soon enough we'll level off possibly, but going down, it's not going to happen. So what happened with the housing bubble? There's only one to really speak of. The great recession that wasn't so great. 10 years prior to the Great Recession happening, if you had a pulse, you had a mortgage. That means that it didn't matter what your credit score was. It didn't matter what your income was. You could more than likely get a house if you tried hard enough. Trying hard enough may have been telling people that you made $200,000 when you made $30,000 a year. It was allowed back then. Lending was very, very just Wild West going crazy and just Everybody got a home. So what happened was the housing bubble popped because people started defaulting on those loans. Things weren't working out the way that the lenders and, and the investors and everybody who got into this big greed uh, thing that happened back then, it just didn't work out for them. They weren't able to afford their payments. They didn't find the renters that they thought they were going to find to pay for the mortgage. They, they could not afford a house that they qualified for saying that they made 200,000 and they only made 30. So ultimately, foreclosures happened. Banks repoed the house, they sold it off and those sales didn't happen at market value. They just kept going down, 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 down. That's not gonna happen right now. The last foreclosure crisis that we could have possibly had was COVID. At the beginning of 2020, everybody was freaking out like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get sick and I'm not going to be able to work. So what did the government do? The government said, whoa, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, we're not going to foreclose on anybody right now. We're going to forbearance and we're going to push payments off to the back and we're going to say it's okay. And that's what they did that time. That's what they'll do again if anything like that happens so that we're not going to have a foreclosure crisis happen, which would have in turn caused a bubble to pop. Right now, value is just going to keep going up. There's going to be levels and ceilings that we hit and it's going to steady off but it's not gonna go down in a sharp way like it did back in the housing recession. So guys, I hope this explains things a little bit. If you have any questions, as always, I'm always here. So feel free to reach out on Zinn's Mortgage Minute, Zinn's Mortgage Page, or give us a call. We'll talk to you later, bye-bye.